गणेशाय नम ओम भगवान श्री सत्य सपाय नम ओम शनिश्चराय नम हेलो व्यूअर्स माय नेम इज एस्ट्रोलॉज साई सुभाजित फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई लाइक टू विश यू प्रोस्पेरस एंड हैप्पी दिवाली दिवाली हुई हैज ए वेरी मच इम्पोर्टेंट इन योर लाइफ टू ब्रिंग प्रोस्पेरिटी एंड हैप्पीनेस इन योर लाइफ फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल ऑन द डे ऑफ दिवाली यू शुड टेक बर्थ एंड आफ्टर दैट यू शुड राइट द स्वस्तिक सिम्बल इन फ्रंट ऑफ द एंट्रेंस ऑफ द डोर and then write love kush which are the songs of lord ganesha and also write om with a freshly grind rice and turmeric so that lord ganesha get very much impressed with these deeds secondly you should bring the idol made of sand of goddess lakshmi and lord ganesha goddess lakshmi who is the goddess of wealth and lord ganesha who is removes all the obstacle in your life people generally worship lord ganesha and ma lakshmi at that day but you should not forget mata saraswati or goddess saraswati which gives wisdom education intelligence suppose you have the money you are not facing any obstacles but if you have if you don't have the wisdom to think how to utilize this money wisely then that money will not give in at your home so ma lakshmi or goddess lakshmi should be worshiped along with ma lakshmi ma saraswati and lord ganesha so that all the happiness and prosperity come to your life next you should always think of the entrance suppose if you are going suppose you are going to any one house then you see the entrance of their house how that house is because before going to the house if you if it is dirty if it is not clean then you make up some mind that the interior will not be so much good so in that same way to welcome goddess lakshmi you should always keep the entrance very much clean on that day especially and you should not forget to bring lotus and keep it at the entrance of the door in a bowl with water so that goddess lakshmi comes easily with a very happy mood so that it gives lots of wealth to you so you should not forget to bring the lotus to welcome ram goddess lakshmi if you can uh, impress goddess lakshmi then it will give you everlasting joy happiness and wealth next very important is a navagraha yantra whenever on the dhantras day you go to market you should purchase the navagraha yantra and install it on that diwali day after having popar puja while installing the idol of goddess lakshmi ma saraswati and lord ganesha it should be done with proper rituals and chantings with proper knowledge of brahmins next is the lord kuber as you know kuber has all the treasury of money so you should always impress lord kuber on that particular day because it is the day of wealth as you know or if you can impress the lord kuber then it can give abundance wealth in your life so try to install sri kuber yantra also and chant the mantra i have given the mantra in the description box kuber mantra i'll just repeat it you just check it whether you pronounce it correctly or not om shrim om rim shrim rim klim shrim klim vitveshwaraya namaha this is the mantra of kuber to to impress lord kuber along with the kuber you should also install shri yanta at your home on the puja table so that shri yantra also give prosperity and happiness to your life people generally forget to worship lord vishnu which is a very important and significant lord to give happiness in your life whenever you are worshiping goddess lakshmi and you are not worshiping lord vishnu then what is the meaning of 
worshipping Goddess Lakshmi. Because if you worship Goddess Lakshmi uh, without worshipping Lord Vishnu, then Goddess Lakshmi will not be happy with you. Because whenever and wherever Goddess Lakshmi is there, Bhagavan Vishnu is there. When there is, when there is Bhagavan Vishnu, Goddess Lakshmi is there. So you should worship Bhagavan Vishnu before worshipping Goddess Lakshmi and Goddess Saraswati so that the blessings of Bhagavan Vishnu stays with you. You should also chant the Vishnu Mantra. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Nama. In this solar system, we have 27 nakshatras. In this solar system, we have 27 nakshatras. So, lastly, I want to tell you that we have 27 nakshatras in this solar system or in this universe. So, on this particular day, you should move 27 objects from somewhere and placed it somewhere. Suppose this is the mobile and object. Don't take it as a mobile, take it as an object. So when it is placed in a table like this, then you should move on that particular day of Diwali from this place to this place so that the negative vibration omits on, the, on that particular object. And you should continuously do it for 27 objects so that 27 nakshatras in your house gets activated and the positive vibration around your house always reflects. So this is the way how you should perform puja and rituals on the Diwali day and to bring abundance, happiness and attract wealth, wisdom, education, remove the obstacles from your life. If you have any questions, just let me know so that I can guide you in a proper way. Things you can bring at your home to welcome Goddess Lakshmi. Firstly is the coconut, second is the blowing conch, third is the sugar cane with roots. You must not forget this point. Sugar cane should be with roots. Third, fourth is the cowries, fifth is the footprint of Goddess Lakshmi and worship that. Sixth is the lotus, seventh is the Sri Yantra. So if you have any question on my explanation on this video, you can just let me know so that I can further guide you on this topic. Please like and subscribe my YouTube channel so that you all get notification of my future updated videos. Stay happy, stay fit. Thank you.